guys, and today I'm going to be doing a video on brumation, even though this is probably my worst strength in bearded dragon owning because Fitz has never gone through brumation, at least I don't think. I did do the research so I can tell you guys how it really is and what happens during that process and what to do during that process. So let's get into the video. All right guys, so I'm going to first explain what brumation is. So brumation is a period of time in a bearded dragon's life where they go into like a deep sleep. It's basically hibernation, but they call it brumation for some odd reasons for lizards instead. So basically, you know how in the winter all the flies die and all the squirrels go into hibernation? That's basically what bearded dragons do. They don't like the cold weather either. They are cold-blooded, so they really don't like the winter that much, so that's why they go into brumation. Now, I don't know how many bearded dragon owners there are out there and what your views are on brumation, but bearded dragons actually do not need to go in brumation. It's not really a health factor. Your bearded dragon's not going to die if you don't put them into brumation. A lot of bearded dragon owners force their bearded dragons into brumation because they think it's like a health benefit when it's really not that much of a health benefit. I mean, if you're keeping your bearded dragon's tank at the same temperature all the time, they're not going to have to go into brumation. This varies upon bearded dragons. Some bearded dragons go into brumation and some bearded dragons don't. Fitz has not went into brumation yet in her life and she is almost two years old so I highly doubt she will ever be going into brumation. So if you live in an area where it varies from summer to winter, like it actually has the temperature change, then your bearded dragon will more than likely go into brumation. I live in Pennsylvania so we do have a winter and summer cycle but Fitz still doesn't go into brumation because her tank stays the same exact temperature all the time. A bearded dragon goes into brumation when they feel like it's getting colder out so they can go to sleep and save up their energy for when they wake up during the summer. So they really won't eat as much, they'll be lethargic, and a lot of people mistake this for some deadly disease, but it's really not. They are very lethargic, they don't eat, because they're trying to collect all that energy together so that when they are asleep, they can stay nice and warm while they're asleep. So when your bearded dragon is showing signs of going into brumation, that is when you would put them in brumation. So some symptoms you want to look after your bearded dragon when they're going into brumation is they can be lethargic. They can have a loss of appetite, they don't poop as much, and they will be hiding under substrates or any decorations you have really. Now before you put your bearded dragon into brumation, and I'll discuss this whole process, you want to make sure that it's not something else. So make sure they're not impacted, make sure they don't have any other illness, you want to make sure they're well fed and they use the bathroom. Remember during this process, it's kind of like their body shuts down, so you don't want them to have that illness and wake up even sicker or knock on wood pass away while they're in brumation. So you have your bearded dragon, you wanna put them in brumation and they're showing the symptoms of brumation. Now what do you do? So first, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you always have a food bowl and a water bowl out for them just in case they wake up or you know wanna take a stretch. Most of the time they probably won't, but you should always leave something out for them just in case. Now a lot of people keep the light on and a lot of people don't keep their lights on. I've seen Pansy Pan actually do it and she doesn't keep her lights on. She actually lowers the temperatures and covers her bearded dragon, which is probably the best bet. Some people recommend that you leave their heat lamp on and then cover them like completely like I'm talking about make sure there's a hide over them and put blankets over it so it's completely dark where they are so if they do wake up and eat they can go to the basking light if they want it's all in your personal preference if you want to keep the lights on you can but you have to make sure they're completely covered or it will disrupt their sleep but if you want to turn everything off and cover their tank and lower the temperatures and then that is up to you another thing you might want to do is soak your bearded dragon so that just means give them a bath if you pinch the back of the skin on your bearded dragon and it snaps back into place that means they're fine but if it doesn't snap back into place that means they're dehydrated and you should either syringe feed them some water provide them some water or soak them to make sure that they don't die of dehydration so for instance kind of hard doing this but if it snaps back into place then they are not dehydrated but if it does not snap back into place and it goes slowly your bearded dragon may be dehydrated majority of the time your bearded dragon won't wake up during the soak so just make sure that their head is above the water you're just soaking them to make sure they get hydrated again so you want to make sure you leave them alone so don't pick them up don't force them to eat don't really touch them or do anything because this is the time they're sleeping the last thing they want is you holding them 
Another thing you want to watch out for is losing weight. If your bearded dragon loses more than a few grams of weight, you want to make sure you take them to the vet because it could be something else serious. Now, for those of you who are like, wow, brumation is a big deal. I do not want to put my bearded dragon into brumation. Well, I have some experience with that, so just listen to me. Make sure you keep all of your temperatures, everything in the tank consistent. Don't change a darn thing and your bearded dragon will more than likely not go into brumation. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this informational video. I tried my best even though I don't know experience with brumation but I try my best to educate you guys from what I have heard online and some of my experience with not brumating my bearded dragon. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video.